Hi friends, welcome back to All on Law. And this is a QPED that's a quick pediatrics. And today we're going to talk briefly about Angelman's syndrome. Remember for USMLE and MRCPCH examination or any other pediatric board examination, you just here need to diagnose the disease by clinical features. Okay, so try to look for these clinical features and very important for your other medical board examinations also. So let's talk about the Angelman's syndrome. The Angelman's syndrome, remember the 75%, the 75% of the cases are due to the maternal, maternal, okay, are due to the maternal deletion, maternal deletion of 15 Q11 to Q13 okay and 23% are due to chromosome 15 mutation chromosome 15 mutation okay guys right the same chromosome mutation causes Angelman's syndrome and Paravelli syndrome remember the only difference is that in Angelman's the missing genetic material is maternal and in paraverly is the paternal remember p for p paraverly is for paternal that's it okay guys so what's the epidemiology is a 1 in 20000 okay 1 in 20000 okay guys right what are the sign and symptoms because sign and symptoms are really very important you have to diagnose based on the sign and symptoms only Angelman syndrome, they are very happy, laughing disposition, previously known as the happy puppets, okay? Remember, this is really very important. And often strikingly attractive children with lighter pigmentation than the other family members. Often blonde head, blued eyes. They are known as a happy puppet. Okay? Happy, laughing, okay? And they will have what you call strikingly attractive children with a lighter pigmentation. Lighter pigmentation. And these patients will have a mental retardation. They will have a microcephaly. Okay. Microcephaly. They will have ataxia. Okay. The patient can have hypotonia. Remember. Attacks and hypotonia create the characteristics puppet like gait. Okay. Epilepsy. Epilepsy is really very important. Epilepsy. Okay. And there is a complete absence of the speech. Remember, some there can be a complete absence of the speech. The unusual face is characterized by a large mandible and open mouth expression revealing the tongue, and there can be a strabismus also. Travismus. Okay, guys. So it's nothing but squint, right? Okay, guys. So how would you treat it? Is it supportive? These are often refractory, and anti-convulsant therapy can be given, and they will have a normal lifespan. Okay, guys. So this is about the Angelman syndrome. Brief discussion. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.